So basically, you raised in Japan, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So although there's like pros and cons to you know looking half in Japan, I would say.、Um, hey guys, how you do? I'm Takashi from Japan. Today, I'm going to interview Chinese American raised in Japan. Her name is Patricia. She makes contents on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. But this time, I interview about herself, about her background as a Chinese American raised in Japan. Let's find out today. And we also talk in Japanese too. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan, whether traveling or living. And you can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your help.、Uh, can I introduce your background? Sure.、Uh, my name is Patricia. I'm 22 years old. I am actually American Chinese, but I was raised here in Tokyo. I am an English teacher. I do like freelance jobs sometimes, and I'm also like a part-time student at an online university. And. And <laughs> and I also make TikTok videos. That's like my hobby slash passion. Oh, is it hobby? Mm-hmm. Ah, so on. I mean, it's also a job. Ah,、uh, but it's also a hobby. But you're having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think you have interesting background. Can you explain like more specifically? Sure. Um. So I went back and forth between America and China until I came here when I was about six years old. Um, and then I would go to international school. So I grew up going to international school, which is why my native language is English.、Um, but then after international school, when I was in elementary school, I would go to this place called Gakudo, and I would make Japanese friends there. But since I went to a more local area in Tokyo, I was the only foreigner in that area. So I would be like, the, "Oh my God, she's the gaijin," you know.、Um, but I feel like because of that, I was able to pick up Japanese easier than someone who's just Coming here to move, here, yeah. So basically, you raised in Japan, right?、Mm-hmm. So although there's like pros and cons to you know looking half in Japan, I would say、um, the pros is that you're obviously accepted by the culture, you know. And I feel like my pronunciation isn't terrible, so I can kind of get away with some things. But the cons is like when I worked at a part-time job, I would have a lot of pressure because a lot of people thought I would understand, you know, innately. Um, culture differences and things that are expected of me when I never learned that. So things like you know, going up to my boss and saying like "Ohio," that's obviously not okay.、Um, oh right. You know you can't say、right. you have to say "Ohio, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio" stuff like that. I would struggle with. Yeah, because I learned my Japanese in a park and like kids setting.、Mm. So my Japanese is more like slang. It's not, I'm not really good at pro- polite professional Japanese. So when you came to Japan when you're six years old, like was it difficult to learn Japanese or was it easy because of your child? Yeah, I feel like it was easier because I was so young, but also because I was surrounded by、um, people. Like I would go to the park and play with Japanese friends and make friends at the park. So I picked it up like using friends very naturally. Do Do you use Japanese now? Like in general? Um, I rarely use Japanese, if I'm being honest.、Oh. So it's really unfortunate、um, because a lot of the friends, like if I were to go meet Japanese friends to make Japanese friends to learn Japanese, they always want to speak English with me, and it's kind of like a struggle. About your videos,、mm-hmm. now you post a video about Japan, right? Like、mm-hmm. places you should visit in Japan, or you know,、yeah. how how do you find those kind of things? I feel like I have an advantage because I do actually speak the language, so I hear it from like my Japanese friends. Or、um, I also like to walk a lot, so I walk around and actually find them by coincidence. Or I use Japanese websites because I can read and write oh, Japanese so, oh, I see, I <laughs> to see, find like more you know places that foreigners don't go to. Where is the best place that you posted, or what is the best thing you did for your videos? I can't think of like the best thing,、yeah. but I can think of like the weirdest thing, yeah, that I've done with food. So I make a lot of food videos, and one of the things that I wanted to do was go to this place that like eats random animals in Shibuya. So I was like, you know, let's just go here.、Um, the otoshi, yeah, was one of the birds that you see in Tokyo a lot, and it was like a. Crazy restaurant experience because I was eating all types of animals and insects that I never ate before.、Oh, it's still in Shibuya. It's in Shibuya.、Oh. 
what are you, what are you gonna do in the future? What do you think you want to do? In what the do future? I want to do? Yeah. Um, I don't want to plan like and make like a huge solid plan, but I nef I definitely want to be in like a creative field. So one of my freelance jobs is you know creating content for other companies as well as myself. I definitely like making videos, so I want to continue with that and expand like my YouTube and stuff. Okay, so you're gonna live in Japan? I plan to, yeah, or at least have this as my base, and then I'll like travel a couple months out and then come back, kind of thing. Okay, last question. Do you speak Japanese? Yes, I do. Hana, Hana, Hi. えっとあの<笑>結構その話しても日本語がその難しいって言ってたんですけど、うんうん、なんか自分が考えていることを、はいはい、ちゃんと言えない言葉が出ないっていうか適切な言葉が出ない。そうその意味もわかんない。適適切？あなんか<笑> like proper proper words、うんうん、that you that express yourself your feelings、うんうんうん、もうできないしそのなるほど。なんか文化的に日本だと女はもうちょっとなんか静かでちょっとリゼルブっていう文化があるから I think I picked that up when I learned the language だからそこもなんか日本語話すときは声もちょっと高くするしちょっとなんか恥ずかしい、うん、じゃあなんか日本語でインタあのインタビューじゃない挨拶とかしまいますかあわかりました、はい、挨拶おこうなパトリシアです趣味はバスケと動画作ることです。はい、ありがとうございました。はい、あやあ、ありがとうございます。<笑>ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。OK、Thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. Please check her videos on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. It's definitely worth checking. It's really informative and entertaining. OK, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any specific question that you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave the comment. See you next time.